Hey guys, it's Sean Klinger with Vilomex, and today we're looking at the Yoshimura RS12 full stainless steel aluminum muffler system. So this full exhaust system is new for KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas. So this test obviously is on a Gas Gas. It's kind of a, a threefer because this system is going to work for all the different bikes. We'll explain how this system really works really well on this bike. Stock, the Gas Gas MC250F, the difference between the KTM and Husqvarna and the Gas Gas is that th the exhaust system has a straight header. Uh, it doesn't have the little resonance chamber that the other bikes have. So in stock form, this bike compared to the other ones was a little bit softer. Um, overall, it had the same power curve, the same characteristic, which is kind of a mellower, softer bottom end, but then really wakes up in the mid range and really revs to the moon. It really benefits people that like to, to rev the bike out. The gas gas mirrors that, but it's just overall a little bit softer in stock form. Another thing that this bike doesn't have stock is it doesn't come with the vented side plates. So I also today did kind of another test uh, before I put on the, the full Yoshimura exhaust system. I threw on a KTM vented side plate. So even though it's a slightly different shape aesthetically, the mounting points are exactly the same. So you can buy from a Cherby's or K uh, KTM hard parts or whatever, any plastic company, you can buy that side panel, the vented side box cover for your gas gas. Also, the stock gas gas does not come with the map switch that the other bikes have. This one is the media loan unit. They put the map switch on there, but for, for this test today, um, I did not switch from map one. I left it in map one, which would basically be the same as if you bought the bike without a map switch. So I really wanted to see the difference for the customer that bought this bike stock that didn't add the map switch. So I went out today, rode it in stock form just to kind of reacquaint myself with the bike. I have been riding it for a while, so I'm, I'm pretty used to this, this machine. Before putting on the system, I put on the vented side pa panel and I noticed a tiny bit of difference between opening up that side airbox cover and the stock. Uh, it's not going to be huge and obviously you don't have to go buy one. You can just drill holes in your side panel like a lot of people do. I would say it just kind of wakes up the power a tiny bit. Uh, if, if stock power is uh, 5, it's like a 5.5 to 6. Like a little bit more. Doesn't really shift the power around. Just lets the bike kind of breathe a little bit a little bit easier. It does obviously allow more air in there to get it a little bit more power. After that, came back in, swapped the stock exhaust system for the full Yoshimura RS12 system. This one is a little bit of the cheaper one. It's stainless steel header, aluminum muffler, and it is $899. So it saves some money from the full titanium system. Obviously what you're gonna give up there is a little bit of weight. Uh, this is not gonna be as light as your full titanium system, but it still does have a carbon end cap. It's aluminum, which is light, and then stainless steel is a little bit more durable for a header material. Moving on to how it felt on the track. Without sounding like a Yoshimura commercial, this was one of the biggest changes from stock exhaust to full exhaust system I have felt on modern bikes. This full Yosh system is night and day. I was really surprised at how well this system worked right off the bat. It really fills in that bottom end. The power curve does not feel like the same anymore. It's not the same shape, just slightly moved or slightly bumped up. The bottom end is boosted a ton. It's like really wakes up that bottom end. It really gives it a snap and a bark and a crispness that uh, the stock bike kind of lacks. A lot of times talking about the stock gas gas, I think us and other media outlets very say, say that it's very linear and mellow and usable. And a lot of that is code for soft. This, not that it's not usable, but it is no longer linear and mellow. I mean, it feels like it comes on really strong right off the bottom. Uh, you don't lose any mid and it pulls harder in mid. I would say the top end, it doesn't feel like it adds a ton of power to the top end, but it does feel like it revs further. Uh, these big hills at Glen Helen, it's easy to click into a gear, whack it wide open to get up the hill. In the stock form, the Gas Gas 250 just kind of feels like it revs to a certain point, but it, it flattens out. It just kind of stays at that same RPM until you get to the top of the hill. With 
the Yosh system, it really feels like it, inc it is still revving through the power, making a little bit more power as you go up. And uh, so across the board makes more power. I'm struggling really hard to find any cons to the way it makes the bike feel. It makes it almost feel lighter because you have better response. It's peppier. It's easier to, to ride and snap out of corners, to snap over jumps, little, you know, rollers and connecting things. So it, it does change the, the character of the bike. Uh, it really is noticeable uh, in the power department just across the board making things better. I guess the only con is that 899 is pretty expensive. Do I think this is better than a Remap or a Vortex ECU? I would say if you're gonna do both, I would start with the Yosh exhaust. And the only reason why I say that is sometimes, sometimes it feels like you get an aftermarket exhaust for your bike, you put it on, it feels better, but it could be even better with a Remap. With this system, it feels great right out of the box. And if you're gonna remap with the stock system, it, it's still a little bit more choked up. It doesn't flow as much exhaust as this system does because of the bigger diameter. So overall, I am thoroughly impressed with this Yoshimura RS12 full exhaust system for the Gas Gas MC250F. If you're on YouTube, please check out Vitalmex for more stories. If you're on vitalmex.com, go to YouTube, hit like, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.